Hey, this is just a quick demonstration of a chest pack system that I've been using for the past couple seasons. Um, I really like it because it pulls some of the weight off of your uh, pack that you're wearing and gets it out on the front so it changes your center of gravity and um, really helps out uh, how the weight feels as you're carrying it around. Instead of fighting something that's wanting to pull you back, it's pulling, it's naturally pulling itself forward and balancing you better. So uh, just a rough estimate, if I have maybe 10 pounds in this pack, it feels like I've just pulled probably 20 off of the pack that's on my back. So no way to really prove that scientifically. I'm sure there is, but I'm not going to go through it. I just know what it feels like, and it feels good. So uh, the other purpose is I keep my essentials in here, um, things that I always want to have on me so that I can drop this pack and keep this with me and go uh, much more quiet um, and much lighter. If, uh, if I find an animal that I want to pursue uh, on a short pursuit but I can't have a backpack rattling around behind me or over the rocks and stuff like that. So um, what I've done is taken the Everly Stock uh, pack topper, uh, this design to convert into a fanny pack um, and just kind of modified it a little bit so that it'll strap right into my shoulder harness on my pack. Um, and I find it's a really good volume for, uh, for carrying the things that I want to carry. I'll take uh, like fire starting equipment, emergency blankets, uh, GPS. I'll carry my water filtration system in here, uh, about 16 ounces of water, just the stuff that I'll be drinking as I'm moving around. Uh, and some food, a couple of granola bars, some trail mix, that kind of stuff. Um, there's also a little pouch here where you can put in your uh, headphones for your GPS or wh whatever radio system you're using, if you're using one. Um, I've also got this pouch on the side here that is designed for a hydration system, hydration bladder to go in there and you can fish a hose through. But I use it to carry uh, my firearm, just a Ruger LCR, uh, which isn't in there right now, it's just the case. But um, so it's right there, easy to get to. But the, uh, the way this works, um, and I'll show you the buckles here in a second, it's real quick. So I find an animal, I've marked where I'm at currently with my GPS. I just undo my belt on my pack. Uh, and then there's a couple other buckles down here that also attach to the, the belt. Uh, it's designed to keep it from flapping around. But, um, I find that doesn't really happen too much either. In the summer when I'm trying to keep a little bit cooler, I'll actually leave these undone or late, uh, late summer, early fall. Um, but getting back to the conversion, uh, just undo or pull out your, uh, your straps that form the waist belt on the fanny pack uh, and undo these up here and real quick drop down and buckle this on. And now I can undo my the rest of my pack and drop it off. And I've got all of my essentials with me, so I don't have to worry about fishing through there. Remember my headlamps? I remember all that. It's already all in here. Um, and I can go chase down whatever I'm after. So uh, that's kind of the, the gist of it. Um, this is made by Everly Stock. I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, and it is designed to, with this molly webbing, hook onto the top of some of their packs. Um, but I've just kind of found that it's better served uh, as a chest pouch. Um, they do make a chest pouch, but I don't think it's designed to convert into a fanny pack. At least not as simply as this one is. You could probably hook some straps to it and accomplish the same thing. But I found that this, this is working really good. So the only changes I made is in this lip here, I cut a little slit so that the strap can work through there and it just keeps the strap from going out and working its way around the top because um, it's, it's carried like this. And then I've got these buckles here and there's a particular um, pattern to it with the female on the top and the male on the bottom here so that um, when you've got it hooked into your pack, it clips in really easy. Voila. Or um, you can also take this pack when you're just transporting it around and hook it in, and it kind of cleans up your whole buckle arrangement and your strap arrangement here. Um, the buckles I use are made by Sea to Summit, and they're a field repair buckle. And they have a little screw that goes in on the side. 
there's two different types. There's one that has uh, screws on both the top and the bottom, and then there's another one that has like a locking system, so you're designed to fish the webbing through and you can cinch it down on your uh, strap. These are one inch buckles, but I actually used three quarter because the strap that's coming through here, the webbing that's coming through here is, is three quarter. It's one inch across this way, but it's three quarter through here, um, which gets it a little bit tight on the actual harness, shoulder harness, but um, you can see it still fits in there fine. It's not going to hurt anything. It actually keeps it from wiggling around. It just doesn't play around as much when I don't have the chest patch on there. Uh, but that's it. Uh, the general concept anyways. I'm going to do another little video here in a second to talk about the uh, F1 mainframe and the F2 transformer which is this pack system. Um, but enjoy.